Yo. Oh shit, my mic low as fuck. Yo, what up YouTube, bro? <laughs> Why do I say the same thing in every freaking video? I gotta, I need to make some new words, bro. All right, here go new words, my nigga. <laughs> Start one, my nigga. Chilingo, lingo, loco, my nigga, I get oco. You know what I'm saying? No, I got the focal. I'm round and re round, no, get our focal. I get it snow out like a two way slash play make go. Ooh, I said make go because I'm spin no. I get nope. that bitch in a row. Well, look, check me out, bro. This is my damn near 99 two way slash and playmaker, bro. That's the last video I seen. This nigga was like a 94. It's because that video is, you know, kind of dusty old. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to get all your badges. Yes, I have all my badges. I can go ahead and show my defensive badges because these is not my actual, the best badges I said that I have. These are just my, if I want to do 1v1, it is too low. I have no assisting because these are just my 1v1s. Look at this, all capped out, my nigga. All of it. I'm going to show you how to easily get all your badges within 40 games, bro. Like, literally, I know it took me 40 games because all I did was, I did the Gatorade boost glitch thing. All I did was play like 40 games and I already had my badges. I only probably played like two more playoff games. But it count plus wreck to wreck. Oh my gosh. Wreck literally gives you double, bro. Especially defensive. Now when you're a wreck with this build, don't really try to shoot. Like mainly try to play making like assists and defensive. Shooting, no, your shit gonna go down. Okay, your shit gonna go negative, my nigga. Trust me. Now what I do is people say 12 minutes, 10, 10 minutes. Trust me, my nigga. I literally I don't know why mine's on six minutes, bro. I played five minutes. Who the fuck they trying to fool? Stupid. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? But I usually play five minutes, six minutes. Sometimes if I play six minutes, I might want that. Oh, I was playing six minutes because, oh, because I'm trying to hit 99. I'm tripping. That's why I put a six minute. But I put six minutes because, yeah, I'm trying to do that. So basically, I usually play five minutes, sometimes six minutes when I go for these badges. If I put on six minutes, that's because I'm trying to get a little bit more defensive cap, but Honestly, I literally do. I don't know if it's because I'm good or something, but I get the same amount as you can get in 10 minutes or 12, 12 minutes. And the thing is, you want to, I basically do the a VC way too. So like I put five minutes so I can hurt and get in the game, get my VC and then get out. And I was doing this while I was like an 80 something because I, I needed VC for this nigga. So basically put yours on five minutes. Like my player nation works too really good. Like. When I was doing this, I was mainly doing for shooting because shooting is kind of hard with this build. Because if you see, my three-point part started like at 67. Yeah. But when you put on pro, it's not, it's not even that hard. All you got to do is, like shooting badges are hard with this player. So all you do is choose a quick jump shot, like 38 or something like that. It's already kind of quick. But I'm going to show you all the screenshots probably after this game. Or like how much I usually get. I don't know if the screenshot shows all of it, but it shows something. But let's get it. Let's get it. All right, but in this gameplay, I'm just going to show y'all like simple ways. I'm not going to play the whole game because that's too long. But I'm going to show you what I usually do. All right, check this out. When I usually go for these badges, I usually go for def defense only because that's the main thing you really need. Because defense is kind of hard, but I made, with this method, I made it easy. So per game, in five minutes, you, you're going to get like within like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. It depends how good you do for like the, the defensive. Now shooting, you probably gonna get like a thousand or two thousand per game, but make sure you do the training drills too. Now slashing, that's easy. I did that last because pretty much if, when I usually get a steal, I just go dunk. So I get that automatically. But defense, all you do is just try to get, what is it called? It's called body ups. It's body ups and then it's body up wins. But when I do that, I, like when I use you shooting, just call a pick from your shooting guard or a small four. They'll move back and boom, it's an easy shot. You're gonna miss it sometimes, but it usually go in. So I usually try to get as close to the line. Sometimes I even shoot a two-pointer. That's green right there for sure. So that's all I do for shooting. Just do the same thing. The defense, all you do is keep pushing up. When you push up, bro, you get rep off that money game. So when you get your the first badge you should go for is clamps. But that's all I do. Then the, like if I really want to do it. Sometimes I end up switching to full court press, but sometimes full court press won't be the best option. And like when they herp and shoot, just try to herp and run for rebounds. You get a lot of rep from that. 
but don't really worry about steals because you might foul off so but yeah try to go for steals sometimes but main thing i do is like first thing i went for is playmaking because you really need um first first up like once you get first up bro it's, it's gg first but sometimes if you end up in a rush and you just hurt and call anybody for a pick i used to just hurt and go like this and just i usually go for a uh, dribble pull out that's what i was trying to do money but it's the whole game like as soon as they do that i hurt and run for rebound try to get it the rebounds you get a lot pretty much just really worry about defense like defense start adding up you might think you're not getting that much but trust me these body ups you're getting a lot oh yeah once they do that you just pretty much just keep doing this make sure he don't get past you and then sometimes like they pass lane still honestly come to you but usually try to make them shoot so that's what the full court press does it makes them shoot and so basically just herp around for rebound go for a fast break but that's all i do usually call a pit whoop he move back bow that should usually go in and then chase down blocks is a lot too if you, if you click get it but i'm gonna show you a way how you can get a chase down block not every time but like you could try to bait your dude like basically with defense you just kind of baiting your dude to do stuff so like if you want to press you press hard so you could get like the uh body ups and then if you want them to shoot to get to use your intimidator and contest the shot you just do that but this is what i usually do when um i go for alleys I don't usually use Kuzma. They say Kuzma is a good dunker, but no, he's not. He's gonna make your shit get turnovers. So like, I usually go, I'm with the Lakers, or bro, like, you just use Anthony Davis or sometimes LeBron. Look at this, they just missed that herp and whoop. Like that, ugh. I waited too long, but trust me. Doing this way, bro, you get a lot of rep. Like, it's not how I usually play. It's cause I'm done with this nigga. Like, I don't really have to do nothing. Pretty much, it's like you already, I already knew it was going to, but I just really want to put it. But shot clock, then watch it. You already know it. Then you just herp around for it. Usually, you're sometimes your big one will beat you to the rebound, but it, it's not really big though. But this is what I usually do when I try to go for alleys. I just call Anthony Davis, whoop, herp, and go through it. Wait for him. Now, sometimes that's what's gonna cause turnovers when they wait too long to, to cut. But I'm gonna show you. There's another way you could get through it. Like when they get like, but pretty much when they like that, and they they usually get stuck like that. You just pretty much go like this, herp and go under it, and then you hold L two. Wait, he seventy six is playing really good defense. I, I can't really do it, but usually you just do that. Like I don't know, it's like Spurs. I know for sure Spurs. I remember some other team play good defense. So like usually when team when teams playing good defense like that, you might end up just going for mainly shooting instead of playmaking that game. Or like if I see that they're playing really good defense. And watching hella film, I'm like, fuck that shit. I just quit, sim out of it, and get out of it. Go to the next game. It's not even that serious. Yeah, you shoot, hurt the run for it. Boom, got it. That's what full court press does. Put pressure on these dudes. But if you got, if you're using a two-way slashing playmaker, I would mainly go for mid-range. You can make those part every time. Like three pointers, you can make two, but you're not gonna make them as often. And with shooting badges, you don't want your field goal to go terrible. If your field goal to go terrible, you're going to get lesser progression. But defense, your progression could never go down. So you just keep, bro, just body ups, bro. Body up wins. Trust me, body up wins work. That's what's going to get you rep, boys. Dude, look at this. That's what quick first stuff does, bro. And usually, if I'm going for slashing badges, progression, you put downhill on. So basically downhill, this is what you usually do. Instead of you really going for a rebound, you just kind of bait people to shoot and get a little contest. Yeah, he's same as just gonna do this. But when I do alleys, I usually try to go for at least like party 15. I don't even try to count. All right, so basically, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you do. All right, I'm gonna see if I got some old gameplay. But as you see, this screenshot right here is not really a good game. But body up wins. I probably this is probably when I was probably like a 70 to be honest. But as you see, like literally blocks could give you a lot. Blocks give you a lot. Rebounds give you a lot. Like rebounds. Yeah, you could get at least 10 rebounds if you could. But I usually get like part five per game. And then you sometimes you could get steals. Like pickpocket does work in career. That don't work. Then well defended plays, that's pretty much you just not like that's basically like when they do that transition sometimes like bad on transitional defense that mean you're not playing defense so well defended plays that mean you're 
you know what I'm saying? Whoop de doo. But that, that right there's not really a good screenshot. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. Some good games. All right, here you go. But like I say, sometimes I will probably didn't even see y'all, but sometimes I play a Hall of Fame just so I can have more competitive, like, like you know, pressure. But as you see, the forced body up loss. This part went out recent. I had 12 of them, and that is me playing good defense. And that game had four steals, and I know for sure I had pit pocket on gold or Hall of Fame. And then rebounds only had three. And I already got 630 from that section. And pick dodge, you're just going to get that from picks. That's what that is. So as you see, body up wins and then force body up losses. Force body up losses when they pick up the ball. So you get that a lot when you play, like when you got clamps on Hall of Fame, your speed is up. And then body up wins is pretty much you just, when you play press or you just press your dude every single play and you're going to get body up wins. Even if you get past you, you st they still sometimes count as body up wins. Now pick and roll assist, that's not the one where I'm actually lobbing it. If I had probably screened up, I mean, scrolled up on a screenshot, you probably would have seen it. But as you see, I got 41,000. Most of that came from the, I mean, uh, alley hoops. See, look, as you see, yeah, I did take another screenshot. So I had 16 alleys. That's what I usually get per game, like probably like 20. Like, you know, it'll say you have 20 assists, but some of them probably come from fast break assists. But yeah, as you got, I, I got 16 of those alley hoops assists. Now, that gameplay you've seen, some of that was just me playing around, but. If you look like listen what I was saying, you would see what I'm talking about. Like pretty much defense, you just pretty much push up on them and then shooting, you just call the pick with a shooting guard. And then slashing, you just pretty much play like lazy defense. And then you just wait for your team, like barely contest their shot, help them run down the court, because your your dude is gonna get the rebound. Or you could do a lot of um what's this called? Acrobats. Acrobats give you a lot too. So basically you just press square two times and then he'll just do like a spin and then do a layup. But me, I like to see my first thing. Yeah, it. Nah, no, I'm pretty sure. I think I took a screenshot when I played Rec. Cause Rec, you could get, you could get like good defense like every time. This is probably when I had a good game. But yeah, yeah, this game I had six steals. Like Rec is easy. It's something fun to play cause you play online and then it's just pretty much easy. So I have 14 assists. I did have four fouls because I was part from them steals. Uh, you know, Vic Yammy's yeah, with the steals. All right, I'm, I'm gonna show you the, the best badges to run when you're playing career. This is if you get reached at least all your defensive or shooting or whatever. Shooting is still the same. Like that's I can't really show you what's shooting because this this player right here he don't get that many shooting. But with this player you can't really look at my shooting. But I can tell you I got a shooter and he got like all his badges. So my other player I'll tell you I run quick draw and goal Ranger Stair Hall of Fame when I usually have my shooter. This if you got a shooter. The Hot Zone Hunter is on Hall of Fame too. If you got a shooter, do not put volume shooter. I don't really need it. Green Machine, I have that on Hall of Fame with my, other sh with my shooter. Dead Eye, Hall of Fame. But if you got a player like this, just copy these badges right here. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just put Green Machine on this. And sometimes you can take off Hot Zone Hunter if your person don't have that much good of a shooting. Now this is my slashing. This is my finishing badges. Like these are pretty much the best ones you need so when i usually play um career when i'm going grinding i probably put like space crater on then downhill on gold i just for sure turn this to bronze and i put like lob city on like silver silver is really what you need and then i'll put this on too needle thread that's what helped those alleys go through and then defensive bro <laughs> keep tabs my nigga this is the best badges for career right here i i can't show y'all what i use for parties Y'all didn't get those likes yet, my nigga. 25 likes for the best defensive badges. Come on. <laughs> Big clamps. Now, I chase down. I remember, I, I just keep it on bronze. It works as well as them their gold Hall of Fame. Clamps, never touch that. <laughs> keep it on Hall of Fame. Terminator, you really need it on gold. You don't really need it on Hall of Fame. Pickpocket, I put that on gold. Off ball pets do work. I use that too. Just that shit gives you more. Rep back, I mean, rep to your shit too, like holding them, make sure they don't do nothing. And with career, lightning reflex does work because you're not delayed. So I'll put that on go to Hall of Fame sometimes. Now, if you just started, this is what you should do. Make sure when you first start off, say if you got your, like your first badge, this is what I do, rebound chaser first. Then if I get another one, I put it on silver. And then I take that off when I get my third one, I put it on gold. Eventually, if I get another one, I put this on um hall of fame all i do is put that back on gold or sometimes i put it on silver and boom that's two badges 
basically you just gotta think smart with it because interceptor really you really need on silver then when the next game when i get another one you don't really need intimidator right now because it's career you're not really gonna get rep you gotta think about what badge is gonna help you get rep but then i put pickpocket and after that if you're still struggling i'll put like chase down and then run protector on too on bronze only just to get you more blocks and stuff then you can have for a rebound chaser again if you want but yeah if this video helped make sure you like the video subscribe yeah.